Singh and Davis, they were contemporaries and very powerful scholars. Ek hi time mein the. Davis an American, writing in English, studying conditions of America. And Pink was a German. And he wrote in German. They are different backgrounds. Davis was a geomorphologist. Meaning of that is, he is more concerned about the shapes of the landforms. High mountain, low mountain, deep valley, uh, straight slope, flat landform. He shapes, hai na, yeah. He is more concerned about what the landform looks like. He is a trained geomorphologist. He is not into the deep geology. Yes, uh, in geomorphology, I do teach some geology, like you know minerals, you know a bit of rocks names, you know mantle, but does not mean you are a geologist, are you? Davis was a geomorphologist. He was not a trained geologist, whereas Pink was a geologist. So the objective of Davis was, what are the shapes and how they change? That's why he said high mountain, low mountain, flat surface, convex slopes, uh, steep valleys, Whereas Pink was more into the internal forces. Remember this, it's not that back then we did not have geologists. It's just that the geology discipline was not as developed as it is today. But they definitely were studying interiors of Earth because they knew about. Think of Edward Swiss. Uh, think of the works of Harold Jeffrey. Uh, think of the works of uh, the likes of... Uh, uh, Van der Graat, uh, or what is Arthur Holmes telling us? Arthur Holmes in 29 theory. Lot of things was known then. So Peng was a geologist, and the geologist is more concerned about the internal force. Upliftment hora, subsidence hora hai, volcanism is happening, landform is rising, it is sinking. Whereas Davis said, I don't know much, ignore that, let's talk about shapes. So if you look at the two theories, Peng's model includes the role of the internal forces. And Pink definitely was influenced by Davis also. How they wrote. But very importantly, Pink dismissed the idea that landforms ke changes are sequential predictable. He said, as though hota hai. Why Davis talked about sequential changes? Because he assumed landform is not changing in terms of internal forces. So a river will gradually erode and will make the land flat. Peng says, what if the land uplifts, landform is eroding, okay, and it uplifts, landform eroding, land sinks, landform eroding, and there's volcanism, because the endogenic processes, they don't follow up time-based change. Okay, earthquake, quick time hota hai, ki har das saal mein we'll have an earthquake, we don't have that way, no? We don't have, every five years we'll have a volcanism, no? Force from inside, they're relatively more random. They're not necessarily always, okay, because of, a sequential change. So Peng said, a time idea is wrong. I don't agree with time idea. Okay, time, is it important? He said, maybe, but not for me. So Davis said, internal forces are important, but I'll ignore it. Peng said, time can play a role, but I'll ignore it. So Davis was time theory, historical approach. Peng was against time, against historical approach. But he said, there are the way how landforms change. Is it okay all of you here? Got the idea of essence? Achha, now, tell me between the two, who looks more likely to be correct? Peng or Davis? Peng. And because of which, he was a boring scientist. Things which are more likely, which are more, okay, uh, you know, say detailed, are boring ideas. Exciting ideas all come in Republic TV. Arnav Goswami. So, and he's a rock star also. Achhi baat karo. Say some jao cheese to dismiss as a madman. Today, Gandhi is a madman. Exciting guy is Trump. Trump is exciting guy, no? rock star of the American politics. So, that's what I'm saying. Peng was right, but Peng was not popular. Davis was popular. Davis was more studied. Peng was quiet. And the problem with Peng also was he was a German writing in German. And unfortunately, Peng died before he finished his theory. And somewhere in the process, Davis may have realized that Peng is making more sense because they are known to be contemporary. They have read each other's work. They are consulting also, but not agreeing. But after Peng died, okay, Davis took Peng's work and he translated those. The very nice ideas of Peng. But he said it could be professional rivalry because of which when Davis was translating, Shayad Jan Bujke, he gave wrong meaning to what Peng was telling us. So for a long time, Peng was misunderstood. Okay, but then they discovered, you know, Peng's idea is far more superior. Peng, therefore, 
is considered more contemporary than Davis. But remember, Davis was the more popular geomorphologist. 